I think it's fair to say we have entered the third wave of React. Wave one was the introduction of components and generally the concept of React. I'd say JSX was kind of part of wave one because React didn't really take over until it was added, but wave two was for sure hooks. When hooks were introduced to React, the way that we built components, architected state, and more importantly, built libraries and things that worked around React fundamentally changed. A lot of React's staying power came from that second wave and how hooks brought it back to life and made the thing that could have gotten stale really exciting again instead. And React continued to be the framework of choice for a long time. It's exciting to see so much innovation happening in JavaScript frameworks again, but React isn't going to slow down. We are now entering the third wave of React, the server era of React. It's really cool to see because for the longest time, React has been a client-side framework focused entirely on how to make the experience as good as possible once the JavaScript loads on their device. It's been up to third parties like Vercel and Next.js or Remix and other frameworks as well to try and make the best possible experience for static content and for things that don't have JavaScript loaded yet. React's accepted that these trade-offs are worth investigating and the future of React is server first. React is no longer a client-side library. React is now a server-side framework that happens to ship a client-side bundle. And that is a huge, huge change. This shift has been highlighted by Andrew leaving the core React team to join Vercel. He said that the new Next version felt like the real React 18 release. And as controversial as that was, I do think it's telling in how the React core team's mindset has changed. And in the same way that React now is moving to the server, the React core team is moving to the company that provides the servers and the framework that does that rendering, Next.js. And I think this whole shift towards the server is a thing that React is consciously doing, both in the framework and in the team and positioning. And what's really interesting is how they're not locking others out. Next and React could merge. They could become one framework. And it would be possible for Vercel to fork React and take control of it that way. I don't see that happening. Vercel seems to be interested in being the open source steward for the React ecosystem. And that doesn't mean locking out others from building their own tools. It means moving React to the server, moving the primitives, moving the standards to the server so other frameworks can build around them the same way they did on client. Right now, feels like the change that happened with hooks, where before hooks, there were libraries that built into React. Most of those libraries were focused around components and component libraries. The idea of a state management library outside of Redux was kind of chaotic, and most of your time in Redux was spent binding the state to the component in all sorts of weird ways. Something like React Query only became possible because of hooks. I think we're currently in that same early era for server-side frameworks. I think Remix and Gatsby, and even to an extent Next, were built before hooks happened. And what React is trying to do now is hooks for the server. They're trying to show you how good it could be and build standards around how it should be so that developers can build third-party solutions. They're gonna provide ones the same way that use state is provided as a default hook and use reducer exists. And they had examples when they first put out hooks. Next is kind of serving that role. Obviously it's much deeper and more complex, but the opportunity for third parties to take advantage of the changes happening in React that are being applied first in Next is massive. I am genuinely so excited for the future of React is a server first framework. And this direction change should be noticed, should be noted, and should be commended as scary and exciting as it is. So huge shout out to the React core team, huge shout out to the Vercel folks. I should point out that they are sponsoring me. But they have no idea I'm doing this video. They have nothing to do with this at all. I just want to talk about it because I'm personally really excited by these changes and seeing React move to the server. Hope this was helpful. Whatever video YouTube says you should watch there is probably a good one. They wouldn't put it there otherwise. So give that a watch.